In this video, we're going to use Active Campaign to create a really simple opt in form and then position that on your website so that you can collect email addresses for a newsletter or something similar. So, first of all, we need to create a list that we're going to send anyone who opts into this form to. So, we can go and click on Lists. If you've imported some contacts already, you should already have a mailing list like I have one here. Otherwise, you can click on New List down here and create a new list. Once you've got a list, we need to go to Apps. And then once you've clicked on Apps, go over to the right hand side and Add Form. And this is the form that we're going to create for the website. So, we're going to give this a name like Website Opt in form and then choose the list that you've just selected uh, from the drop down menu here. Click OK. So, there's a range of options over here on the left. If we wanted to add in someone's phone number, for example, we could just click on Phone. That would add it in over on the right hand side here. Um, if you decide you don't want that, then just click on Delete and that removes that field. But we're going to keep it really simple for this demonstration, so we're just going to keep full name and email address. Other options in this section allow you to style the form, so you can use templates and decide which way you want it to look. This option here allows you to set up the double opt in. So, if you have this selected with this tick box at the top here, this will create a double opt in form so that the subscriber receives an email in their box asking them to confirm the link. Um, and that just generally means that you have a higher quality list because you know that the people who have double opted in are people who really actually want to be on your list. Below that, you have some settings for the form where you can decide what is said on the confirmation page and what is said in the opt in email, like we were just looking at. And then below that, you'll be able to get a code to embed onto your site. So click on Add to WordPress and then click within the box, and you can just use Control C or Command C on the Mac to copy that code. And you'll also see a link here to download a plugin for WordPress, which we're about to look at in a second. So if you don't already have the right plugin, you can download one from here. Then we're going to jump across to our WordPress site, and we're going to go to the widget section. And I've got uh, an opt-in widget which I'm going to add into my sidebar just here. And then I'm going to paste the code using Command V into this section here, the opt-in code. I'm going to say at the top here, sign up for newsletter. Click Save. Now when we go back to our website page, you can see that down the bottom here we've got the sign up for the newsletter form. And if I put my name and address in here, I'll get an opt in request in my inbox where I click the link and then it will add me back into the active campaign uh, list that you've selected on the previous steps. Thanks very much for watching. My name is David Kilkelly. You can click the link in the top right hand corner of this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'll have more videos like this coming up.